Well, two matches played so far, and two matches going the full distance. Women's doubles coming up next with the world number ones. Then, of course, women's singles and the Indian superstar, Saina Naval, and then men's singles will finish off our quarterfinals action for today. So to the women's doubles and the world number ones, Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin from Taipei, up against a pair that started in the qualifying, Krusa and Oropka. In the women's doubles at the Onyx All England Open Badminton Championships here at the National Indoor Arena, please welcome the number one seeds from Chinese Taipei, Chen Wen Hsing and Chen Yu Chin. The world number ones, Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin. They've had a tough tournament so far of this pair. Both of their previous matches, three games. And their opponents from Denmark, Lena Damka Kruser and Marie Rubka. Well, they win the qualifying event didn't actually have to play a qualifying event because they got a bye in that to then enter into the main draw. Maria Oropka leading out the two Danes, Nina Dankir Krusa. Plenty of Danish fans here. Mm, there's an army of Danish supporters come to all England each year. In fact, we were talking to our Danish colleagues just before play started. And there is one gentleman here from Denmark who has been at the All England Championships, come to watch every year since 1972. Look at his ball. Okay. So the toss of the coin. Look at that sight. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're that sight? Sorry. Service judge. <laughs> so the pair from Chinese Taipei. There they are. World number ones since October last year. This their sixth consecutive. In the quarter-final appearance, and here's confirmation of their world ranking. Eight and three, their win-loss record for this year. That translates into two semi-finals and a quarter-final. Semi-final in both the Super Series finals and the Korean Super Series event. And as I was saying, they've had a tough old tournament so far. Both of their previous matches going the full distance, first against Jenny Woolworth and Gabby White. And then against the qualifiers, can't believe that they were qualifiers. Chen Shu, who's been in the All England final winnings doubles for the last two years, playing with the world champion in the mixed doubles. But they were forced to qualify at the Chinese combination. Dropped the opening game in that, but came back strongly. 21-19 in the decider. So the Danes, Nina Dampier throws up on the left as we look at them. The 23-year-old, in fact, they're both 23 years of age. Maria Ropka, the taller of the two players, 176 since 5 foot 9, born in Copenhagen. And in the All England quarter final, they're only playing their third ever tournament together. But the previous two tournaments that they have played, they've been in the final. One, the Swedish international, beaten finalists in Austria. 
And that world ranking certainly not realistic because only two tournaments towards that world ranking. Well, had a bye in the qualifying, as I say, which means that they had to play the number seven seeds, Emiliana Idrohari and Gracia Poli from Indonesia in the first round. Wonderful victory over the number seven seeds. And then yesterday against the Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Juala Gutta and Ashwini Bonapa of India dropped the opening game before coming back 21-19, 21-18 in 53 minutes. So David Martin and Lars Rifa our court officials. This is our third quarter-final of the day. Well, the number one seeds Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin. Tough first two matches. And I can't believe that the qualifiers from Denmark, Nina Denke, Krosa and Maria Rotka. This is only their third ever tournament together. It's remarkable that they're in the All England quarter final. And of course, Maria Rotka's mother will know all about these All England championships because her mother, Lena Copen, who won the women's singles twice back in 79 and 80, in fact, was in four women's singles finals here at the All England Championships and also mixed doubles playing with a gentleman who's sitting just alongside us, our colleagues from Danish television, Steen Skorgård. Well, a little bit of discussion. Ian, about the speed of the shuttle? Yes, I think so. At the start of the session, they tested the shuttles before the start of the session. And there's not many people in, in the stadium. And it's normal, there's probably four or five thousand people in now, and it's normal that there's a bigger current of air and the shuttles speed up, temperature in the hall goes up. Yeah, so the umpire has just indicated that he wants the tournament referee to come on. In fact, it's one of the deputy referees, Ian Ross from England. There he is. And the umpire will be saying that the shuttles are flying a little too quickly. Now, just to explain, the shuttles have to be a certain speed. And when you test the shuttle, you have to hit the shuttle with an underarm action from just above the back line of the court. And then I'm not sure if we'll be able to see, but towards the back of the court, just near the double service line, there's a couple of little markers on the court which show that the shuttle must land within that area and therefore that's the correct speed. And you can quite clearly see testing that shuttle, that shuttle landed way long of that area. Now, Chen Wen Sing certainly wasn't testing the shuttle appropriately, was she? In? No, it's not with it, it's a full underarm hit. Chen there just tapping the shuttle to the end. Obviously feels they more comfortable with the quicker shuttles. And she's testing with her feet inside the line, which the referee should actually call her up on. And both feet in the inside the court then. Well, while we wait for this slight delay, perhaps needs a mention the fact that here we are in the quarter-final stage of the women's doubles is traditionally over recent years, totally dominate, dominated by Chinese pairs, but only two Chinese pairs left in the draw in this quarter-final stage. That's a surprise to me, Ian. Yes, it is, but I, I do think ladies' doubles is an event that's, that is changing rapidly at the moment. The style of play has completely changed. It's going to a more attacking, attacking game. All of the players now, they have great physical preparation, able to play with a little bit more explosive ability and I think some of the gaps are beginning to close up although I have to say the two Chinese pairs that are left in are exceptionally good. On my right, Chen Wen-Sing, Chen Zhu-Jin, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Lina Dangia Fruza and Maria Rotka Denmark.
Lena Dunker Cruiser to serve to Chen Wen Singh. Love all. Play. What an occasion for the Danes. Third ever tournament together. Here they are. So it's over. The quarter final. One First ever quarter quarterfinal for either player. And for the pair from Taipei, trying to make it through to their first ever semi-final at the All England Championships. So a huge match for all four players on court. Yeah, it's interesting your comment about the, the Danish pair, Jill, in, in the senior tournaments. Yeah, they put those three tournaments in. But this is a pair that played regularly all through the junior ranks for Denmark. Remember them well as juniors. And what I like about this, we've seen it before with the Danish players. They came into the senior ranks and rather than letting Three, them play together well. in the seniors, they split them up, put them with more experienced partners, they gained some experience, and now they've put them back together. So I do call. like that as a system. Service so fault called. Struck above the waist is the service judge, Lars Alrifa. Good judgment lets it drop wide. So it's over. Now, obviously, Four, one. the Danes only competing in their third senior tournament together. Not surprising that this is the first ever meeting between these two pairs. So it's over. Both the Danes two, four. years of age. Two pair pairs, Chen Wen Sing turned 29 on the 24th of February. And Chen Yu Chin. A year younger at 28. And more good judgment from Chien Yu Chin. So it's over. 5 2. Yes. Oh, that's lovely. So it's over. 3 5. Good aggressive play, Very confident play there from the young Danish player. Four, five. An interesting early factor in this match, Jill. We've talked many times about the problems that the number one pair in the world have on service, neither of them very confident servers. And had that early service fault against them, that may increase the pressure on service here. Yes, and as you and I were discussing yesterday when we watched them play in the round of last 16, it's quite extraordinary that they can reach number one in the world and have such a glaring weakness in both of them struggling with confidence on their serve, but it's really testament to the rest of their game, the quality of the rest of their game, in the fact that so often they flick serve, they haven't got the confidence on the low serve, they give away the attacking play at the onset of the rally, and yet they still battle their way through matches. Yes, they've found ways to work around that weakness, oh. and they're a very, very effective pair, so as the world ranking four. demonstrates, of course. Bronze medalists, of course, at the World Championships last year. Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin. Uh, cross the body smash from Chen Wen Sing. Seven, four. Cruiser waited, committed to that backhand defence. Couldn't deal with the one aimed towards her right hip. Great anticipation, so That's good to play. Good early signs from the Danish girls here, playing with a lot of confidence, looking to move in. Both players moving forward.
very, very encouraging seven. start from the Danes. I really feared that they might be a little bit nervous, but they've really started as if they mean business. Seeing it as a great opportunity, which indeed it is. In the back level. Seven. Yes, and I'm sure that was the preparation with the coaching team. Nothing to lose, get out there, be positive, and they're certainly doing that. Nice attitude, the coaching team will learn a lot from this match, how they react to the big situation. Quarterfinals night, the All-England. Do they stand up, can they stand up to the pressure of that? And so far the signs are good. Eight, seven. Two uncharacteristic errors from Chen Wen Sheng. Sing. She's probably not seen a lot of this Danish pair, and so far in this match, she's had only two unforced errors, which we certainly didn't see yesterday. And there's another. Nine all. And once again, the Danes back level. Yes, and normally this is a strong area. And that's a poor mistake. Yes, because she's a very fine mixed doubles player, bronze medalist at the Asian Games in Guangzhou at the end of last year, playing with Chen Hongling. Service over, 10-9. Good shot again, but... So Not a great decision eight. from Cheng again. Trying to go for the crouch defence when she's really a little bit deep in the court for that. Not a great setup in defence there. And another mistake. 11-10. Well, interval. who would have predicted this? The Danes in front at the mid-game interval. As Klaus Paulsen, Danish coach, comes on to talk to his players. Det er helt vildt vigtigt, det der med, når de går ind og trykker på os nu her, at vi bliver ved med at gøre noget på dem, altså bare dumpe dem og tage farten ud, og vi ikke tager slåskampen op med dem. De har ikke fået succes, det er, fordi vi hele tiden flytter dem. Når nu vi får lagt det første gode lange løft, så skal vi blive ved med at træde frem. Vi behøver ikke skal vinde på dem, men vi skal have det vendt. Det kan være sådan en, som vi går i går, hvor vi bare dumper den. Yes, well, he's telling his players that they've got to block the shot. If they're going to defend and lift, they've got to do so across court. Saying he's got to, they've got to be the first to get forward to the net. Well, I think all in all, we should be very happy with their performance so far. Yes, they've made a very positive start. What I like is they're both trying to move forward the whole time trying to get into the net position, and when they've got there, they've been very aggressive with their choice of shot. Yes, that's exactly what he was saying. Little box, steer those shuttles when you get forward. Don't get drawn into the flat, fast exchanges. That's delightful. And again, it's Chen Wen-Sing who makes the error. Well, 13, 10. Maybe the pressure of expectation having an effect on the world number ones. And the freedom for the Danes with the knowledge that they have nothing to lose. They're not expected to win, might as well go for it. Over 
Chen Wen Sing opened up the court by smashing across court, played a partner into trouble. This is the one. Yeah, she just lost patience. She's had four or five smashes. Lost patience, played away from a partner. Put a partner out of position, and the Danish pair very quick to take advantage. Service over, 12 14. This is what Klaus Paulson was saying, don't play the fast game. Just click the shuttle go down, keep it going in a downward direction, but don't put too much pace on it. Over. Yes, and they're following 15, the tactic very well. 12. Good patience there from the rear court. Realise that they're playing against a very good defensive pair. And prepare to just knock the shuttle around, wait for the error. Getting into a favourite position, but look at the racket position. Really low, very casual. Service over. 13, 16. Strings have gone in her racket. She tried to play that smash. She had a chin. Yep. Shows the racket to the umpire. Shuffle always makes a, an odd sound coming off the strings when the strings are broken. Well, we have stringers here at the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham. Doing a wonderful job, always in good spirits. Always enjoy the event, but my goodness, they do work hard. Yeah, good attacking play from Chen Yu Chin. The channel attack down the centre of the court. Both the Danes going for the same shot, a clash of rackets. And a broken racket, the results from Krusa. Right idea from Rocker. 15, 17. Click again. Yep. Oh. 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 Top four at the moment. Chen Wen Sing. She's got to stick with it. Keep working until she can play herself into the normal form that we see from her. Judgment. That's it got long over that line. And then is now just two points away from the opening game against the world number ones. Mistake at the end, but they played the rally out again very well, using the good width and defence, forcing their opponents to to move to, to create.
create the attacking opportunities. Just getting caught a little flat-footed in the net position there at the end of the rally. 17-19. Mm, wasn't wrong by much. Hey! That one, however, so it was. 20, get point, wow. 17. This is extraordinary. A little lucky she was trying to hit it, missed it. She little drifted long. Three green points for the Danes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Maria, opportunity at the start of that 18, rally. From the 20. Maria Oropka. Good. Yet another flick serve. And long of the double service line. And the qualifiers, Alina Damke, Kruza, and Maria Rotka take the opening game against the world number ones. 21-18. Well, this is absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, it was sad, we didn't have it this out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person is very happy. It's so happy that we hold our discipline. It's so important to be with now when you're under. And we just lift them up to them. And then we'll try to get them ready to catch them. And it's not just one of them. Just keep it soft. Just keep it soft. Yeah, but it's him that's flat, so we have to get up on them. I think we're up on the flat, so we're going to get up on them. Don't play flat and fast, guide the shuttle. We can see all the high serves there from the Chinese Taipei pair. Sign of lack of confidence, even a forehand serve at the end there. Forehand flicks are very unusual to see these days. Short rallies going in their favour, but you have to say, the telling factor there is the unforced errors. Well, what an extraordinary story this would be if the Danes were to actually win this encounter against the current world number ones. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but it certainly would be one of the biggest upsets in world badminton, certainly this year. Well, Second game. Number one sees Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin. From Blank. Taipei. We were talking right at the start of the match, Ian, about their lack of confidence in the serve. Right at the end of that oh. opening game, a forehand so serve one and off. a quick serve at that. I mean, as a coach, they're obviously in torment over their, their serves. What do you say? What can you say to a player that's just lost all confidence? So uh, Chen Wen Sin there just got frustrated in that game. I think she won't have possibly seen this Danish pair before. She seems to have come out a little bit too casual. But you have to say the pattern of the week has been like that with the number one pair. Yes, their first two matches lost the opening game in both of those before coming back to win. And certainly against the English pair in the first round, they were very sloppy in that first game. Chen Wen Sin again starting very slowly. So I would certainly expect Chen Wen Sin to become a little bit more dynamic in the second game. Pump the interceptions a little bit more on that forecourt. But, uh, the Danes have played a very, very good tactic. Kept the pace off the shuttle. Used a big court in defence. Used the full width of the court. Made their opponents move. And that's the sort of so shot that we used to see Three, from Chen Wen Sing. Put that away with Venom. We've seen a little bit more urgency from Chen Wen Sing. Service fault call once again. Deemed to have been struck above the waist.
Let's have a look. Yeah, a little bit high. It's over. Five, three. The error, but signalled her intent that she's willing to take her opponent on at the net. Yes, and they constructed the point very well again. Pace off and creating the opportunity at the net. Just missing out. Need to go back a little to basics, really, and the channel attack or really work for their partner rather than trying to sort things out as individuals on the doubles court. I think they need to start thinking about how am I going to set this up for my partner? Hit down the center, narrow the angle of reply. Yes, absolutely. Slightly strange situation for them, really, because they will have looked at the draw at the beginning of the week and see, probably seen the key match for them early in this tournament is that second round match yesterday. Great match. Maybe just a slight hint that they've relaxed a little bit playing this unknown pair today. She's losing patience, is Chin Wen Sing. Four, six. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jill. She's maybe a little guilty of underestimating her Danish opponents today. Positive, over. positive shot, Seven, positive four. movement in that rally from Chen Wen Sing. Yeah, I think she's becoming accustomed to the Danes playing the attack with pace off. Danes just maybe need to mix it up a little bit, maybe one clear, just to fix her on the midcourt. Spring's gone in the racket. Over, five, seven. Again, another example here. Look how static Chen Wensing is. Normally she's moving forward all the time, Jill. She's so dynamic in that midcourt position. And they're very flat footed. Just testing out the new racket. Very much courtesy amongst the players. from Maria Ropka. Yeah, not only powerful, but very precise. Very, very good precision here. Smash to the body and then smash to the outside line. Nice combination. And good angle. So it's over. Eight, six. Well, she's certainly expecting the flip serve, isn't she? Back very quickly. Yeah, and what's nice, she doesn't try to hit it too hard. She concentrates on the angle and gets in below the defence. This is a full height there. Yeah, that's a lovely drive too on the backhand side. Slightly reminiscent of my mother there on that backhand side, that flat backhand. 
Danish swipe, I think it was called on the back end. Mm -hmm. Lena Coppin yeah. missed the play that. Service over. Nine, eight. Constructed point, she made the mistake at the end, but the Danes dictating the tactic still. Quick serve is long. Service over, 9 10. But there, serving is still of real concern here. Well, they've got an even bigger problem today. Chen Wenxing, we know, has real, real problems. And she's even struggling to keep the flick serves in today. And yesterday, when crunch time came against the Chinese pair, it was Chen who managed to serve well and get some short serves in. But today, he's been a couple of hot serves, a couple of times, and really wobbly as well today. Well, this match is going to be going to need runs of points on service, and it's difficult to see where they're going to come from at the moment. Eleven nine. Play. It's a very good rally. 12-9. Yes, more patience from the Taipei pair there. Not forcing the game, prepared to play the rally out. Beginning to read the play at the front of the court and intercept well. Chen Wen Sink. Yes, more patient play from the Taipei pair there. And Dan's just getting caught in more and more defensive positions at the moment. She's lost the initiative a little bit. There's the forehand serve again. Nine. I just wonder if perhaps I wouldn't like to see the Danes standing back to receive serve a little bit more. In other words, saying, I dare you to serve her out high. I'm really waiting for this because they still seem to be very far forward on their initial serve. Well, service over. Curse of the commentator. 10, 14. Kind of the low serve, but she's got such 
problems with her low serve, as demonstrated there with the error. That's terrible. She cut straight across the shuttle. Didn't mm -hmm. really give it a chance to go over the net. Serve as a, as a shock attack there, a shock change of tactics. She served mainly short, and there the flick's very effective as an aggressive tactic rather than a defensive attack tactic that her opponents are using with the flick serve. That's the clever defense. Oh, that's a beautiful smash from Chen Chen. Straight down the line, absolute precision. Just taking a little bit of pace off there, going for the precision. I found it beautifully. Yeah. That's good play. Very, very good play. Racket ready. Great position she takes up here. Drives. Racket up. Good play. Oh, got away with it on that occasion, Chen Wen Sing. But once again, going for the cross court, it would have opened up the court and played her partner into trouble. Yeah, that was a mistake again. The high cross defence from the Danes, and it's posing some problems. Put the partner way out of position with that cross drop. Finish over. 13-16. Positive return here. Look at that. Pushing it into the back box. That's a great return. Another of points, not only back level, but I think that would make the well, number ones very nervous indeed. <laughs> and that's very, very good play from Lina Krosa. 16, 16. Great play. Good serve, changing the direction, moving the shuttle a little bit wider with the service. And then all over that straight block return. Good doubles. So it's over. Well, 17 15. Interesting reaction from the Danish coaches, even though she made an error. Looked of positive and applauding right idea keep trying to go for that well she missed it but tactically it was super play and she saw the space maybe guilty of taking her eye off the shuttle and looking at the space rather than the, watching the shuttle onto the racket but play again very constructive Positive defence once again from Cruiser. Changing the momentum of the rally. That was the one. Forward she goes. This is moving forward the whole time now. She's playing with great confidence. Back level. 17 all. Service fault called. Oh, service fault called. This time on the Danes. 18, 17. Once again deemed to have been struck above the waist. Oof, yeah. Yeah, just lifting the hand again before striking the shuttle. Brilliant. Well, yeah, and they're in a position now where that to win the game, the Chinese can't take care. They've got to score on service.
A good defence. They're just long and that shot from Rocker. It's over 19 18. Hesitation. Well, it's over. Out, and as I say, to win this game now, they've got to get some serving going, and it's not happening for them at the moment. Well, our colleagues from Danish television are both on their feet, just along from our commentary position, getting very excited by this, uh, as well they might. Again, it's the movement to Drusa that set that up 19. on the front foot in defence, looking for the chance to take the net, takes it, sets it up for a partner. She snatched at the shuttle a little bit there. So gain points for the number one seeds. Averting to the backhand serve. And once again, it's a flick. Yeah. Oh. Not to be. So it's over. Anyway, 20 all. Extra points will be required until there's a clear two point winning margin. And it's crucial to serve and they've been very effective on her service. Oh, it's called Goods. Got the number one seeds out of position. 21 20. Super shot from Cruiser, and now the qualifiers have a match point for a place in the semi-final of the All England Championships. So it's over. Twenty-one all. Well, it's all nerve-wracking stuff. Oh. Well, it's good to see them being adventurous. 22, 21. Yeah, just missing a bit of experience there. Just needed to block that. Forced a little bit here. There's lots of space for the block just to keep the attack. Second game point opportunity. Oh my goodness! It was out. Oh, that certainly is well long of the back line. So it's over. 22-0. Good smash from Cruiser forces the error from Chien Yu Chi. Great thinking here. One smash to the inside and then the second smash to the outside, switching the defence. So a second match point opportunity for the Danes. Oh, the Danes thought it was long. It's called good. Danish coaches were on their feet. Little look to the umpire, appealing for an overall. Oh, it was long too. Goodness me. Service priority again, they get another chance, and they certainly deserve it after that last line call. Lucky third time, lucky. 
And where's Cruiser going to go? Is she going to switch the direction again with the service? Again, above the waist, twenty-five. And that 24. service for gifts a fourth match point opportunity. Rock has flicked the last couple of times. I wonder if she's got the nerve to go short here. Keep the pressure on her opponents. Good play from Chen Wen Singh. That defensive shot just guiding it across court into the open all. space. Can she get a serve in, Jill? That's the question yeah. now. 25 all. Got the serve in, but once again a flick, and once again dealt with so very efficiently 26, from 25. Maria Orocca. Fifth match point opportunity for the Danes. seeds in the first round and now here in the quarter-final have disposed of the world number ones for Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin of Taipei. Well, once again losing for a sixth consecutive time in the quarter-final of the All England. But for Lina Kruza and Maria Rocca, what a story from the young Danes. In only their third senior tournament together, they're in their first ever Super Series semi-final. 21, 18, 27, 25. And my goodness me, they grabbed the opportunity with both hands. They've responded. They thank their fans in the crowd because they have produced the most magnificent performance here today and they're safely through to the semi-final well done thanks well, there's only one key line here jill and that's serve and return errors just shows the level of serving and how much trouble the taipei pair have got on service six errors there Six to one in a game that in the end was so close, was really a critical factor. And the overhead winners also favouring the Danes because they were creating more attacking opportunities behind their good low serving and the variety that they used on the service. Well, what an extraordinary, extraordinary story. Through to the semi final, the Danish pair of Krusa and Oropka, and they will play against the winners of Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, the Chinese combination, playing against Ha Jong-un and Kim Ming-jung in their quarter-final. <laughs> 